What is happening? I'm in 64 Josh. This is going to be episode number two of Twitch chat. I do this live on twitch.tv slash N64 Josh every Wednesday morning. I go live at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 1 p.m. Eastern, and my chat shows up. We record this podcast together. I take questions live. Today's topic, we're going to be talking about the grind because everybody refers to streaming as the grind. I hate that term. That just makes it sound like you're going to burn out and I hate it. I hate it. So we're going to talk about that. The music you're hearing right now is music I have created for you, the Twitch streamer, the Facebook streamer, the YouTube streamer, so that you can use without having to worry about any kind of copyright, DMCA, any of that stuff. Look for N64Josh wherever you listen to music. And if you're using Spotify, you can check out the Stream Vibes playlist. It's Stream Vibes Chill. It's all kind of just, it's just chill tunes for you to have in the background so you don't have any dead air and you still get to use your clips. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So check that out wherever you listen to music. Also, if you guys want to connect with me, I'm N64Josh everywhere. Uh, TikTok is where I'm putting out daily Twitch tip videos and I'm having a really good time with that. They're just about one minute long and uh, they, they are a lot of fun. Um, also just a lot of, a lot of goofy stuff on TikTok, but I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. You can follow me everywhere. The last thing I want to mention is our discord. If you, uh, want to come hang out with just a bunch of Nintendo gamers or just gamers in general, you can go to n64josh.com slash discord. So with that, we're going to jump into the grind. Actually, one more thing. I want to say what's up to everybody in the Twitch chat. How you guys doing? Patuli, Broken, Goro. Steel Sand Gaming, hey wheat bread, welcome. Jay Harley, welcome, welcome, welcome. Rad Panda, we have a handful of streamers in here. Calvin, Mr. Divian, Russ Belt Kid. So glad to see everybody. So, so very glad to see everybody. So, uh, Bukuma, what's going on? Good to see you. So, again, this is the second episode of this, and I want to talk about the grind. The grind. Everybody says the grind. And it it's one of those things that I'm like, you know what, we got to call this something else. Because I've been on that side of it. I've been on the side that that this just is a grind. Where you're just you're just grinding it out. It's it's 8-hour streams, it's 12-hour streams. And listen, this is advice that that a lot of uh successful streamers give to people because this is how they made it work. This is how they made it work. I'm I'm of the mind that the grind does not necessarily mean it's going to work. It's one of those things that it's been my experience that hard work doesn't always pay off. It doesn't. That doesn't mean you can't work. And that also means you need to stay uh, just persistent and in and, and growing your brand and and continuing to grow everything that you're doing on all the platforms not just Twitch. Okay. So chat saying right now, uh, work smarter and not harder. And that's, that's, that's exactly it. Okay. So the first point I have is streaming becomes less of a grind when you work harder in other places. So what do I mean? I mean, your YouTube channel, your TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, wherever it is that you uh, you want to grow your brand, do it in those other places and then push people to Twitch, a podcast. Okay. A podcast. Now the beauty of it is like I'm doing right here, right now is I'm live on Twitch. I'm recording a podcast. That's going to go out in audio form. It's going to go out in video form. I'm going to title this in a way that is going to allow me to be found organically by new people. And I tell you what, if you found this video on YouTube and it's the first time that you've seen any of my content, leave a comment down below. All right. Leave a comment down below. That'll be, that'll be fun. And I'll read it. I'll read it on the, on episode three. Okay. So, uh, chat saying right now, sometimes you just got to get lucky. You know, I don't, I don't, I mean, sure. But here, here's what I say about luck is that you can, you can use that. You can use that very statement as an excuse to say, oh, I didn't get lucky. Therefore I failed. No, I, I say, get, get that out of your head. Don't, don't focus on, on, don't look at what you're doing 
as success and failure, right? Because right now I have 20 people in this chat. To some people, they would say, oh, you're still failing as a streamer. Other people would be like, I would kill for 20 viewers, right? Either way, I just view it as a success. I'm hanging with my friends. I'm hanging with my friends. And right now, because that number is at 20, I get to read my chat. I get to interact with these, these people. We get to do this show together. As the brand grows, chat moves faster. It becomes a lot more difficult to stay as connected and you kind of lose some of the intimacy and the and the fun that happens with being a, a stream with, you know, 20, 30 viewers. But I would say but once you hit that 100 viewer mark and the chat's just moving, you got to move it into slow. It's there. It's it's a different it's different. It's different. And I love what's happening right now. And L Lumber Joke in chat is like podcast is how I originally found you. And now he's here in chat. So create a podcast. Okay, create, you're going to hear me say this over and over and over again. I'll probably say it every episode, create content that adds value. Okay, create content that adds value. Give away the best information you have to offer. Give it away. All right, we'll talk about it. We'll, we'll talk about it. Uh, we'll talk about it more later. Okay, getting back to Jay Harley is saying uh, podcast is where I came from. Um, there's, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of people because the discoverability on Twitch is very low. Getting found on Twitch is, is not that easy. And that's why it becomes such a grind because it's like, well, I got, I mean, I think for this month I have, you know, a hundred and some new followers, right? Every stream, who knows, maybe it averages between two and 15, but that's, that's that's slow. I'm putting out TikToks that I had a TikTok kind of go viral today or yesterday and it increased 20 followers in like a matter of like 20 minutes, you know, like and if that had just kept going, it would have been it just would have been more and more and more. And so that's where I'm focusing my a lot of my efforts is in other places. Right now, the organic reach with TikTok is unlike any other platform. And some people might say, oh, it's for kids. It's really not. It it's it has something like it, the, the amount, like the amount of users, I don't have the numbers right in front of me right now, but it's crazy. It's the most used social media platform. So you really should be there if you're trying to grow a brand, especially one that is on the internet. Like if you're, if you're on streaming on Twitch or Facebook or, or YouTube. Going back to this being a grind. Steel says his path to me was through Twitter. So, so there you go. So grind the word, it's a grind. It just, it breeds the, it just makes me think about burnout. All right. It just, it really does. And I've been there. Let me tell you guys about my old schedule. I would get up at 2.30 in the morning. I would go to the gym. I would then work for 10 hours at my regular job. I would then come home, eat some, eat my first meal sometimes, right? Because I was doing intermittent fasting. Then I would stream for three to eight hours. And then I would rinse and repeat, sometimes sleeping a maximum of three hours a day. That's a grind. That's a grind. Looking back on that, it was it was miserable. I would be falling asleep on stream, trying to, you know, trying to be entertaining, trying to interact with my my chat. And it just it was it was difficult. I would take breaks and go do push ups and jumping jacks just to try to get my, the blood flowing so that I could because I was exhausted. I was exhausted, but I wanted to make this dream a reality so much. And Listen, if this is your dream, it doesn't mean it can't be a reality, but I don't think grinding it out is the way to do it. Put that hard work into other places, all right? Create valuable content in other places so that you can grow yourself as a brand and allow Twitch to be one of the areas that you... Uh, I This is the way... I, I'm going to jump ahead of my list a little bit, but I view Twitch as my as my hangout time, right? My hangout time with my friends, with my chat, I'm pointing at my chat right now. And uh, it's the it's game time. It's time to play some games. So it's, I look at it as the reward for the work that I'm doing elsewhere, 
as I'm as I'm creating videos for YouTube, as I'm creating videos for TikTok, as I'm posting pictures on on Instagram and interacting with people on Twitter. Right? I view the stream time as the reward for the hard work everywhere else. If you go into this and you only grind Twitch, if you only try to, to stream on Twitch, I guarantee you, you are going to be frustrated. You're going to be frustrated. And here's the thing. If you have some friends that are very successful Twitch streamers that will raid you and help you grow, you can find success that way. But if you are going into this alone, you don't have much of a community, this is going to be a grind. It is going to be something that is not, not as enjoyable as, as you would think. If you're only looking at, if you're looking at the numbers, if you want this to be a business, if you're just jumping on Twitch to stream for fun, then, you know, go for it and, and see what happens. Fine. But if deep down your goal is to make this a business, just like any other business, I mean, literally any other business, you're going to have to market yourself in multiple places because your Twitch stream is your product and people have to find it and they're not going to find it by going to Twitch. It's very rare. The majority of the people in this, uh, in this chat have either found me somewhere else and a few of them may have come over from a raid and then decided decided to stay with me but on a very regular occasion people come into my chat and they say hey i've been listening to the podcast a lot of times they're like i've been listening for years and it's so cool to finally see this happening live i hear that all the time i have twitch i was i was in my office yesterday uh working making stream vibes and uh the my obs was open because i was i was also working with my camera and stuff and i get a follow i hear it go off like i hear my my alerts go off and that's somebody that found me i guarantee somewhere else somewhere else when i'm making a tiktok especially if i'm talking about twitch stuff i will include my twitch link in the video, just, just as twitch.tv slash n64josh, right? So that if people want to connect with me, they know where to do it as, as easily as possible. I don't even have enough follows on TikTok yet to be able to post any kind of clickable links. So I just, I just write it in. So it's, it's on the video and it's visible. Okay. Uh, Bukuma from chat says, I've been listening to podcasts for days and came to stream. There you go. Broken says, uh, it was YouTube. He was watching the watching the podcast on YouTube. Okay. So you have to put the work in, put the hard work in elsewhere. All right. And don't hesitate. Look, here's the thing. If if you're like, if, if you want to do like I used to do, and this is this is totally a viable plan and something that, that can work, and it's I've been doing it for years, is create your content while you're live on Twitch like I'm doing. Do your, you know, if you're going to cover some gaming news, do it live on Twitch. It's a craft. You have to, you have to master it. Doing this stuff live and not being able to edit it is, uh, it's a craft. But if, if I can do it, believe me, anybody can. Okay. It just takes time. It, it, it just takes time and, and, and put the work in doing that very thing. Just mastering your craft. Cause that's what streaming is. It's not just somebody sitting with a controller in their hand, staring at the screen, playing video games. It's not, it's not. It's, it's, about, it's about community and it's about adding valuable content to people, right? Giving them something, you know, the very fact that I have people sitting in here with me right now in a world that is so full of other options blows my mind, right? But in some way we have connected in a way that that was, you know, good enough for them to give me their time. So it's not something I take lightly. All right. So even if you're streaming for that one viewer, man, make them the, the, the most valuable person in that chat. Like let them know how much you appreciate them. And guys, I appreciate you so very much. Okay. So growing in other areas, 
Add it means adding maximum value with your content. Like I said earlier, hold nothing back. Become a resource for the community you want to engage with. Become a resource for the community you want to engage with. How are you going to do that? Okay, I love the Nintendo community. I love being a part of the Nintendo community. I know that a lot of people in the Nintendo community can sometimes be a little older in age. They're gonna be, they're gonna be working, they're gonna be going to the gym. They may not, they're gonna have kids. They may not have the time to uh, fire up websites and, and check out all the news that's happening um, every day. So I create a news podcast and even news videos on the regular that help them stay informed. I, I create the, the news podcast so they can stay informed while they're working out, while they're driving, while they're at work, you know, hopefully helping their work day go by quicker. And that's, those are different ways that you can add value. It's, you don't have to sit here and think like, well, I don't have a ton of knowledge on, it's okay. You can, you can gather information and then share it and then add your opinion to it. And it allows people to connect with you, to appreciate what it is that you're doing and get to know your brand. And then hopefully they get curious. They want to come check out a live stream, right? So there's where you're, there's where you're adding valuable content chats. Like who, who you call an old, <laughs> so nobody not calling, not calling anybody here old. I promise you. <laughs> They're all like, we're all kind of old. No, I know you guys, the demographic that's in here is the age range is wild and I love it. It's, it's awesome. It's great, but put back to the, the point at hand, you want to create that valuable content. Like I've, I've really been, I've really been trying to practice what I preach when it comes to like TikTok. And so with my TikToks, I'm showcasing my Nintendo collection. I'm getting goofy every morning and playing a different song as I run my finger around the brim of my coffee mug. You know, I had a, I had my Mario pipe coffee mug and I ran my finger around it and it played the Mario music. It's just goofy stuff as if you were doing it with a wine glass, right? So I'm just creating things around my Nintendo content. I have a big Nintendo collection. So I'm showcasing different pieces of my collection, things that maybe some people haven't seen before that, that maybe they didn't know existed. Um, showcasing different things in some of the games that are older that some people may have missed or never, never played before. It's things like that, that can just, just keeps people interested, right? If they're on TikTok, they're just scrolling fast anyway, just consuming massive amounts of content. So I just want to try to create something that's going to get them to stop, maybe uh, smile, maybe share it with a friend, right? Because once you start creating content that is shareable, you become much more discoverable and that's how you get introduced to new people. Okay. So the idea is that high value content is shareable content. That's what you want. Okay. So create that with your Twitch streams and then reshare that in other places so that people can find you in other ways. So, um, the chat's like, I'm so old. Patuli's like literal fetus. <laughs> Bukuma's like, I'm in denial. I'll never, uh, grow old. Hoffman's like bunch of whippersnappers here. Get off my lawn. So, I mean, it's just a, it's a wide range of uh, the demographic is, is, is wide ranging. I love that. I think it's great. I think it's, I think it's amazing. Okay. So, uh, chat, I want you guys to start firing at me with some questions here. The last thing, uh, I already went into, and I said, the, the way I view my stream time is my reward for working, right? That's the time I get to play games with my community. I get to hang out with my community. I, and that's, that's the best. And the reason I want to view it that way. And the reason I want you to view it that way is because if you don't, you will start getting frustrated with your community that like, why aren't they giving me more bits? And why am I getting more subs? And why? No, it's not. That's, it's not about that. It's not about that. If you start viewing your community as a wallet, they will not stick around. They won't. Their time is the best payment they can offer you, right? It's on you if you want your brand to be a business to build income streams, multiple income streams. And we'll have another show about this with, with ad revenue, with affiliate sales, with merch sales, with your own products. I wrote a book. It's called Another Castle. You can find it on Amazon, in Audible, and Kindle, and physical if you want. 
right? It's your job to create revenue streams for your business if you're viewing this as a business. But if you view your, your community as a wallet, not gonna have much of a community. They want to help support you, that's awesome. And, and that's great, but you can't put all of your eggs in one basket when it comes to having an online brand. And, and cause I mean, Twitch could go away or you could get banned from Twitch and then you'd have, you'd have no income, right? So if you're gonna view this as a business, you need to treat it as a business. Okay. So chat, let's see. The chat is saying the book is good. The noise gate is causing my voice to cut in and out at some of the sentences. Well, let's turn that noise gate down then. I have it turned up real high because of my uh, air conditioning, but I turned the air conditioning off. So let's see. I'm fixing it right here live. Is that sounding a little bit better now? I just bumped it up a little bit. That is that better for you guys? Is that better? Let's see. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We got our first... Uh, First question in chat says, do you think, this is from Steel Sand Gaming, do you think you should stick to one console family like Nintendo or should you use Xbox, PlayStation, etc.? I know that is kind of a uh, kind of a preference, but I want to get serious. Should I stick to one group? Um, but if I want to get serious, should I stick to one group? It's a great question. The, the answer is this. What are you the most passionate about? That's where you need to be. That's where you need to be. Don't do anything just to try to get views. Do what you're passionate about. Grow a community around that passion and then it will flourish. If you are, are you saying like, if you're saying like, I'm going to be just a Nintendo guy because, you know, I see that's where there, that's where other people have had success. So I'm going to be just a Nintendo guy, but I love Halo and that's me. And I've streamed some Halo even recently because I love, I love Halo. Uh, just do what you love. Do what you love. Don't, don't look at it as a, uh, you can't, you can't ever chase what you think might be popular or what, uh, you know, you're hoping this happens all the time with brand new games, with brand new games. People oftentimes, I know this because I, I've been there. They'll be like, okay, the new, the new DLC is coming out or the new games coming out, you know, the new call of duty, the new destiny, whatever. And I'm going to be, I'm going to be the first to get my stream going, you know, and they, they, they bank heavily on this being something that's going to help them grow. And it, 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 it doesn't, I've been there. It doesn't. You're much better off continually creating content that you are passionate about and, and fostering and growing a community around that because otherwise it, you will burn out. You'll burn out. I used to cover just Destiny for like three years, the entire length of Destiny 1. I burned out. By the time Destiny 2 came out, I couldn't do it any longer. I couldn't do it. It just wasn't, it wasn't enjoyable anymore. So there's the street sweeper. Who knows? Maybe that'll be a regular Wednesday thing. <laughs> So yeah, wheat bread is saying variety. Yep, absolutely. Variety. Uh, Larry Starr says uh, being authentic is important. Otherwise it would feel weird. Jay Harley, I'd play what you're going to have fun with. Absolutely. If you guys have any other questions, uh, let me know. Let me know in the chat. I'm going to scroll up real quick just to make sure I'm not missing any. But if you guys have any questions about, uh, about streaming or content creation, um, let me know right now before before I wrap this thing up. Uh, hey, Wheatbread says, uh, I do all kinds of stuff, variety with a focus on Nintendo, but that includes Sea of Thieves, Borderlands, and even 90s nostalgia stuff like old commercials and TV. That's cool. And I'm sure his community probably loves that stuff. Probably loves it. Calvin wants to know which plugins do I use with OBS? I don't use any plugins. Yeah, as far as like external plugins, I don't, I don't have any. I'm just using OBS as is. And then I use um, Streamlabs, but that's all done via URLs, you know, for my alerts, my bit cups, uh, bit cup, things like that. So I don't have any other plugins um, that I use at this moment. Uh, Bakuma has a question. You see some bigger streamers are scared to play new games because they've built their success on a game and are just miserable. That's also true. 
That's 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 also true. I've seen people that have only played one game, and when they go to change, they get like they 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 don't get nearly the views. That's all. It's all the people want. So it's important that you that you set yourself. I say it's important. Unless I mean, look, I could probably play a game like Mario Kart forever. Like for some reason, I don't get tired of that game. I could just play it over and over again, and uh. Like, I love playing with my chat. It's great. But not everybody's going to be that way. And eventually I could burn out. I burned out on Destiny, you know? So the, the I mean, variety is the spice of life, right? So so variety is where where you want to be. Steel Sand Gaming says, follow a schedule closely or just go live whenever? Follow a schedule. Absolutely create a stream schedule. Um, one of the things that I'm starting to do, and I and I recommend people do is... Uh, get a schedule and and really stick to that schedule so that people know when you're going to be going live. M my schedule, I keep trying to I'm 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 trying to figure it out right now, and I'm finding that I need to stream less and focus on the other areas of my brand to grow it. And but when it's stream time, it's stream time, and I'm going to be focused. Unfortunately, today I was even late getting in my stream because I took my dogs on a little extra little longer walk than was anticipated. Weepred says, I don't think I follow anybody uh, that just plays one or two games. I'm all about fresh and new. That's going to do it for episode two of Twitch chat. Thank you so much. If you've made it all the way to the end, you're amazing. Thank you so much for watching. If you're just listening, the camera just died. So there we go. That half hour limit. I got it. See, I'm still learning this stuff. I'm still learning this stuff. I got it back. I got to turn back on. <laughs> Chat's like, oh, what happened? No, we're good. We're good. But seriously, thank you guys for watching. If you're if you're catching this on YouTube, you know, if you got questions about your stream, let me know in the comments uh, down below. We're doing this every Wednesday, uh, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 1 p.m. Eastern. I'd love it if you came and hang out, or if you could come hang out. And if you got questions and stuff, I'd love to answer them right on the show. Yeah, I love, love doing this. Again, if you want to connect with me anywhere, especially TikTok, it's at N64Josh. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next show. Bye now.